These are the things that we use that we find totally essential. Like we cannot live without them while we're on the road in a tiny RV. There are more things that can be helpful. We're not covering them right now. We're just covering RV essentials. I have all of these on the website listed right there. And it's also listed down below. I can't put my glasses on because the glare is so bad. I'm just blind for a second. You can buy things for your RV forever. There's a million things you can buy and most of them make life easier. We indulge in some of those, but the ones that I'm gonna talk about today are the ones that are most essential and things we don't feel like we could live without in the Scamp. The Scamp is a very tiny RV, so there are limitations with what we can haul anyway. Um, so we really have to limit for weight and for storage, anything that we can purchase. That said, there's all kinds of stuff that would probably help us immensely, but we just can't fit it. So the stuff that we have in here are things that we actually use and we like. Everything that I purchase, I research extensively and make sure it's something that we're really gonna use and that will really be beneficial to us. So that's what we got today. Glare. The first thing you need when you get an RV is a power cord. <laughs> just got lipstick on it. If you don't have a power cord, you don't have power. Very important. In addition, as part of that, this is connected to this and this comes usually with each RV. This is an adapter. This one adapts to 30 amp. These usually come with, but essential, you need it. This is the surge protector. You absolutely need a surge protector. You have wiring in here, and if you get a surge because you're plugged into shore power somewhere and it's bad power, this will protect you. I like this one. I did the most research on this one, so it's good. A downside is that it will not work if the power is not grounded. So it just won't work. You have to make sure you have a grounded outlet in order for this baby to work. Another essential is bedding. You can do this however you like. We use a sleeping bag and sheets on top with a blanket that I got in eighth grade. We have sleeping bags for the kids. It's kind of a given that you're gonna need bedding, so whatever you're most comfortable with is probably what you should go with. These bad boys right here are wheel chocks, and they prevent the lovely scamp from floating backwards into the abyss. So we use these obviously everywhere we go. And this is a chalk lock. This is not necessarily essential if you don't care about your scamp getting stolen. And probably it would get stolen anyway if somebody really wanted it. But mentally we feel better knowing that we've tried to protect it. And in addition to that one, we've got this guy over here and this guy over here. The other thing you need is a water hose. If you want water, you need a hose. This one's special for drinking water. Supposedly it doesn't have lead or BPA or whatever. I don't really believe all that. And also I don't really care, but this is the water hose that you need. There's other ones that I guess squish down a lot easier and we probably should have got that, but I didn't know at the time. I do like this one because of the size, but if I could have redone it, I probably would have gotten the slinky type that shrink way, way down and can fit in small spaces better. This is the leveler. You need this so that your scamp or your small RV is level. If it is not level, you wake up with blood rushing to your head, which has happened. And when that happens, it's uncomfortable. Also, I think bad stuff can happen if it's unlevel, like you could roll into a ravine or something. This is a nice one because it's four way and I set it down and beep, 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 it works. This is a water pressure regulator. This little doodad hooks into wherever you're getting your water from and it makes sure that the water pressure doesn't destroy all of your pipes in your scamp or your RV because I guess I learned that there are all kinds of different water pressures and they're not as regulated. I don't really know. Uh, anyway, my dad told me I needed this so we got it. These are leveling blocks. In addition to the leveler, you need to make sure you have leveling blocks so that you can pull your scamp or your RV onto them and make them level if this way is wonky. I like these because they're stackable and they come in a bag. There are other ones you can get fewer or not, but we use all of these usually every time we go somewhere. This solar panel is another essential and it plugs directly into the battery. And actually when Scamp did this, they did it wrong. So we had to get a kit and my husband fixed it. One more thing, of course. Anyway, it works really well. So I'll show you. The battery was really low and now, it's at 12.7. We're doing pretty well and it's a cloudy day. Another thing you need are flying insect screens. We've got a bunch of these 
and you stick these on any exhaust area outside of your RV or your scamp and it prevents flying insects from getting in. I did not think these were essential until I realized that wasps and bees really like to make nests in those little tiny spaces, there's like access to the outside. The Scamp does have like a, it's like six or eight gallon water tank in it, but I don't trust drinking the water out of that. This is a six gallon water jug and we fill this only with drinking water. We don't ever use this for anything other than drinking water. And that way we always have six gallons on us. It's got a handle, it's kind of clunky. Obviously it's heavy, water's eight pounds per gallon. So you can assume it's heavy lifting, but at least the, the shape of it is really good for packing in the car because it's upright instead of a bunch of gallon jugs that we can't stack anything on top of. This is kind of along the same lines. This is just a water carrier too, in case we needed more. Um, this isn't, it's not essential to have two of them. I just got another one just in case because running out of water terrifies me with two children. So this is just an extra one if you like to be a crazy overprotective person. Another essential that I cannot live without, whether camping or otherwise, are stasher bags. As you can see, I genuinely love them. These are very expensive and I realize that and I'm pretty cheap. I'm, I, I'm a pretty cheap person. I like a deal, but I was really sick of buying Ziploc bags and I was feeling bad about putting them in the landfill. So I just got many different packs of these over a period of a year and we use them constantly. And this way, I don't feel like I'm throwing things in a landfill all the time because we reuse these a ton. These are made of silicone and they have a pretty decent seal and I haven't had anything leak from this. I take these in my lunch every day at work. I've not had anything leak. We will bring a ton of these on the trip with us for leftovers. They're good for like, I'll put makeup in them. I'll put anything in these that I don't want to leak and they do a pretty good job of not leaking. Along those lines, these are our packing cubes. I just brought a couple of them to show. These are packed just to show you how small they are. This one has seven days worth of clothes for a kid, and this one has seven days worth of t-shirts for an adult. So if you roll things, they can fit a ton of stuff. I mean, those are extra large t-shirts, men's t-shirts, and I fit seven of them in there. We use these when, not just when camping, we use these all the time. These are the bomb. These are wise owl towels. I am not sponsored by anybody. I just really only use the stuff that I like. These towels are incredible. We had four last year and we ended up having to bring beach towels, which was a pain and they were heavy. And then when they got wet, it was a, it was a bummer. So I got two more just for the beach and we'll just share them, but they pack really tight and they're small and they're extremely light and they're really absorbent. I love these wise owl towels and they have, each one comes with a wash rag or like a, a hand towel. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. This is our toiletries. This bag holds four people's toiletries for two weeks. We used this last year on our two week trip and it held everything we needed and more for two weeks. The nice thing about this is that it hangs. So I usually find a spot in the scamp, probably not on there cause that door fell off last year. But anyway, I find a space and I hang it and it's really easy to grab stuff and everybody knows where their spot is. So as long as you stay organized and you train your children to put things back properly which I usually fail at. This is so, so helpful. We take this on every trip wherever we go, which is nice. Everybody should have a first aid kit in their car or anywhere if they're traveling a long distance. So this is a good one because it's got everything you need. The only thing we've added are Advil or Tylenol as we've needed them. This is just a safety precaution that everybody should have. This is a tablecloth. I got a new one. This is very cute. This is from Target. We're always ending up at picnic tables that are bird poop covered or old food covered or just gross. And this uh, provides uh, a suggestion of cleanliness, which is delightful. As discussed before, the command strip is the queen of necessities in the scamp. I needed more of them because I learned from our trip last year that we just needed more places to hang things because when you don't have storage, that's your only option. Hang everything. I also use command strips to hang these shoe hanger thingies. Um, and we put all kinds of stuff in those. A lot of times we, we put the propane tanks in for our Coleman stove. Um, but on here, they came with little hooks. These came together, this two pack thing. I mean, it's white and it gets dirty. I don't know why I picked white like a dummy, but um, we put our shoes in there. So that fits quite a few shoes because the kids ones we can shove together. Those are super handy. And the fact that this is movable is really nice because we can crunch it over and then have a little bit more space. I really think this is gonna help us in finding a little bit more room and sanity on our trip.
This rollable mat, we actually had to customize a little bit because they don't make them for the scamp size sink, or maybe they do and I just couldn't find them. But this is really nice because we use this as a drying rack. I put stuff on it like when I'm sleeping, it holds a ton of stuff. You can obviously dry things on it. The nice thing about this too is it rolls up. It is very light. We use it like that sometimes when we're driving. It bundles small and anything that we can make smaller is a good thing. These command cubbies, spice racks, I don't know what they're called. These are great too. I probably should get another one and put it here, but then that eliminates some space that we have for putting stuff while we're cooking. So the drawer, I got these organizational buckets at Target. They just perfectly fit. And then I have another one up here that just has all of our coffee things. Really the only things we cook in here are oatmeal and coffee. Everything else we do outside unless it's raining or terribly storming, but we, we haven't had that problem yet. I like to keep all of these things up here and make it easier. And then everything else we keep in this bucket right here. This is our cooking bucket. That's what we call it. Let me show you. The cooking bucket has all of the cooking needs and this is easier to lug places. That brings me to the next essential. The cast iron pan. Oh, it's so heavy. I gotta put it down. Oh. This is the king. This one's actually cracked, but it hasn't seemed to like fall apart. And we cook on high temperatures. I'm not worried about bacteria. So anyway, we use this for everything and it cleans up really well with like salt and oil. Get yourself a beautiful cast iron pan. Next up is the wash bin. It's cold. Maybe that's why I'm having a hard time. Okay. It collapses. It's a collapsible one. You might ask yourself, you have a sink, so why would you need this? A lot of times we do dishes outside because the sink is small, somebody's sleeping, who knows. We had it from camping days anyway, so it's very delightful to have and it packs down really tight and small. The next essential is cookware. You obviously need things to cook with and this came all together in a kit and it came with all of these pans, the plates, this bad boy and a set of silverware serving for four. So I'll show you what's in here. Obviously the enamel plates. We got this when we were married as a wedding gift. So these have lasted us for like a hundred years. I don't even know. We've been married a long time. It comes with the bowls, three pans, and then this little hook majig, which hooks on to have a handle. The nice thing is it's condensed and it's got the Teflon coating in it and it's lasted. I don't usually buy stuff with Teflon just because I think it makes food taste funny. I don't like it, but I haven't noticed too much with this. The plates and stuff that came with this, we still use constantly. They don't stack together very well, but they're really handy and they're solid and none of the enamels chipped off. Since that whole kit came together, the silverware thingy that came with it, I really like because it folds up and you can lug it around and it's all tight together. This is called an adventure pot because it's adventurous. It's this little guy and then there's two cups inside, which we use for the kids, but this is for boiling water. We use this every single time we camp for coffee. It folds in together nicely and it heats up really fast. And this is stainless. The other one we used to have was aluminum and I felt like that made food tastes funny too. This is it, baby. We're real particular about our coffee. The other coffee essential that we use, this is a silicone foldable pour over and the lid comes off and this butt pops up. You put your coffee filter in there and it drips down. This makes delicious coffee. We use this all the time. And because it's silicone, it's lasted a long time and we hand wash it. So that helps too, but it folds back down when you're done and it's this size, so it's very thin. Another essential is this paper towel holder. This I just stuck here, it's like a, an adhesive, and I was worried that it would fall down because of all the jiggling of the RV, and so far so good, it hasn't happened. It fits every paper towel size and keeps it out of the way. I'm not sure if this is an essential for everybody, but it is for us. There is a stove in the Scamp and that works perfectly fine. We just prefer to cook outside. So the Coleman stove, this is another gift that we got for our wedding so many years ago, but we just keep it in the box and it's in perfect condition. We use it all the time. Underneath our bed, we always store apparently everything. 
the camping chairs. These are Coleman camping chairs. They have pockets for everything. They're kind of bulky and if I could redo it, I probably would have gotten smaller ones, but that's me. My husband's big though. And so these are good for him because he fits in them. And then also under here is, uh, this is our tiny table. This table, I searched for this, this size table everywhere and I could not find it. I finally did online. It's on Amazon and one of my links. It is small enough that it fits right in there. It's very light. It only weighs five pounds. And that way um, we have a place to cook when we're outside. These are camping toilets. We have two. You do not need two. This one is a flush one that we only use for pee. And this one is a bucket toilet that we use for poop. I promise you that's not poop. That's dirt. This is an old Lowe's bucket that we used to mix cement in. So we just put a liner in there and the liners look like this. They're very simple and they're compostable. And then we'll put some kind of absorbent in there. And these happen to be safe for the environment as well. And it soaks up a bunch of stuff and it stinks less. And then there's chemicals that are gonna go in there, but I haven't gotten them yet. I've been trying out different things. Now, some would argue that this is not essential, but I will argue that it is essential. These are the very best sunglasses you will ever find anywhere. These are Maui Gym sunglasses. These are made in the United States. It's in the Midwest. I'm not kidding you. I'm not somebody who would spend a lot of money on sunglasses because I'm cheap, but these are amazing. When you are fishing, you can see the fish in the water. When you take them off, no fish. When you put them on, fish. It's amazing. It just cuts the glare so, so much. They're, they're polarized, but they have a magical polarization formula that is dope. I can't go anywhere without these sunglasses anymore. They also make these glasses, like regular people glasses, which I also love, very trendy, but mostly I like that they're made in the Midwest. Lastly, the absolute essential for any RV trip, Oreos. Now these happen to be gluten free because I can't have gluten, but all Oreos will do. Oh, it appears someone has eaten a whole row. I don't know who could have done it. Mmm, delicious. You can't have a successful camping trip without Oreos. It's just not possible. So I'm here to tell you, put it on your list. All right, those are your camping essentials. These are the ones that we use and that we can't live without. Everybody's gonna be different, but I think if you have the basics, you're gonna be good to go. Happy camping! Oh, I need a drink. Mm, some milk.